Cloud Jubby time again. Are we on? Yeah. Stop throwing apples, children. It's Richard's fault. Yeah, oh, come on, we're God. going. Chaos here, you isn't it? catch up time yet again. Yeah. Remember when that big massive one hit me on the head had rolled off when we were sitting under them trees? Is it concrete? On Woody End. Was it an apple? Probably you, what are you two throwing yeah, something? But anyway, yeah. catch up time and sensible one again. UK champs this time. Yes. Got lots of old off. Richard, behave yourself. <laughs> so, sorry everyone, trying to be all sensible. UK champs. I wanted to win this one again. I wanted to yeah. be the first one to win it three times on the bounce. Three times on the bounce? Yeah, because no so, one's ever done it. Powers has won it two. So it was a lot oh, to right, put on yeah. myself, but I wanted it. Because you know what I'm like? I'm not being arrogant and a dick. I just, it's a goal, just, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I don't, mm. inspired to get them. Jokingly, I'll say it, but I'm really, I'd, I'd love to have done that. But anyway, it was going all right, going into the last round at Boston. Yeah. We'd been to Makings, had a mega day, won a match. Mm -hmm. At £300. Um, I'd been to Rookery, won my section there. I'd been to Hall Croft, and I was third in my section. I think... I mean, we, we saw, like, the pegs that you were on, you know what you were saying? 17. Like, yeah, because we were opposite him, like, yeah. like bird caging. Yeah, 17 wasn't Fair good. play, you've done well to get that weight. I, I didn't have anything there, but third, but so genuinely. Going into, you were third going into it, I was third you? going into the last yeah, round, yeah. which I, was, I, I couldn't have got any more points at all, Croft. No, definitely Could, not. Not a chance. You um, know Tom's going to compete with them. No, well, Steve Forster won the, match, won the section. It? I think we've done a catch-up on it, yeah, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. Steve Forster had won a match. Jason was second with yeah. one six fifty. And then you've got hundred, aren't you, both? Like, fifteen. Yeah. I so Ringers winning points. it with perfect three. Steve's yes, Steve's Power's got second three points. with four. Yes. Two wins in the second and your five points. Two so wins in the third. Yeah, myself. I think Ryan Lidgard. Oh right, okay. And a chap called Rich Green. Right, go ahead. I may have got all that wrong, but I'm sure they were on five points as well. Right. There might have been with someone else, but I can't bet. Maybe Bailey, Dave Bailey might have been on five as well. Or he might have been on, but he was, anyway. He was up there. We were all up there, yeah. I'm useless at remembering. I actually got it on my phone, so I should have done a bit of press. So, there. obviously, one, two, four but, is where you wanted. Yeah, Barston last round. Where did you draw? Not one, two, flipping four. <laughs> oh, I hate Barston. It's so it's, it brutal for a section points match. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. It's evil, and the type of fishing at the minute makes we it really We don't do it. Evil. Like, when you ask me for like one of them big bait up fees, like, where's J Lad going? You've got yeah. some big bait up things, in there. I prep for everything. I prep yeah, the, you're the doing fishing. Like you don't lavish everything, wouldn't you? All sorts. The fishing at the minute at Barston is all long range method or PVA bag, more to the point fishing, spodding over the top with a big what, bait What's you got feeder. rod in? No, no. Oh. You, you've got, so you, you have need to, them like. You have to thingy, wind in. Yeah, you need, you need some that. of them idiot sticks. Yeah. Put all them up. I haven't got them. I just used two pole rollers to stick them there. Stick your thumbs up for his mate. Not even lying, yeah, and spin round. <laughs> anyway, so I've spent a flipping fortune on yeah, PVA yeah. bags and all sorts. I bought Bray, I bought everything Daz for Daz in the tackle shop said yes to him about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely rinsed. I think it cost me like 150 quid on things that I'm never going to use. Oh, gee. So I bought a lot, bought a bait up rod and everything. I'm on it. Went in a bag, 91. It's like... Ooh. It's the worst of the worst at Boston. Yes. That little bit, 86 to about 95. What, what's the point? Is that like in the 70s or is it like No, no, the, the point is 85, 84, 83. And then it's coming back round it. Oh, 86 yeah. is the worst peg at Boston. That's a setback one. The yeah. worst peg at Boston. And it's every other peg, so 86. No, it must have been 87. Yeah, was I on 91 or 90? No, I might have been on 90. I was on 90. <laughs> yeah, it was even numbers. Shocking anyway. Shocking. Shocking, but it used to be the best skim of it. Mm. The fairest skim, not the best, the fairest skim of it. Yeah. That little bit. The point can be really good. I dale on the point. Was that in your Shepherd. section? Yes, my section is to me left. I'm end peg. I mean, I'm not an end peg. Does he put that like bank in there? No. Oh, so he doesn't goes back to the other wall side. Right, does okay. put that wall in. So they, they right. get just around the point. I think there were one, two, three, four, five anglers on the point. Yeah. And then six, seven, eight, three of us on the flat bit. Right. And then obviously caddies on. So obviously, right, right, as soon as you've seen Dale on that point, you're thinking, all oh, right, here we go. Yeah. I think if it had been really good, I'd have struggled to beat Dale. Yeah. But it was really hard. So anyway, um, 91, I'm there to win section, that's it. There's nothing else you can do. All mm. I want to do is win section with the highest weight as possible because that's where you're going to fall behind. That's the issue up there. Because it comes into a tie. I was doing all right. I was winning by 30 kilo. Oh, right. Ahead yeah, yeah. of everyone else yeah, on yeah, weight. Yeah. Yeah. But I knew that the lads in the bowl, or what we're going to call it, the bowl, before the island, on either bank. So like in the teens up to the 30s, that kind of thing. Yeah, and then yeah. 110 to 124. On the opposite side, all right. Yeah. They could catch 100 pound. Yeah. 200 pound they could catch. Right, yeah, yeah. If Barston's fishing, they could catch really, really big weights. Whereas realistically, where I am, 40 pound would be mega. 
mm. like mega, especially with the match I was going to fish. Right. So I knew that the that gap was going to close really, really quickly. In the case of a tie, I was a little bit worried. But anyway, so I'm there, and the, the two people that I'm most worried about, obviously I'd love to catch Steve up. Yeah. Steve's drawn 28. He ain't getting beat off 28. No, 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 no. He's not getting beaten, no, he's not coming I don't think third there's off 28. Yeah, there's not many pigs on there that he wouldn't do well at. That's his style. I mean, he's awesome yeah. at everything, but that's his style as well. Very, it? very much. Very, very good. But we'll talk about that at the end. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, so Steve's on it. Power was on. What was I on? 90. Power up in on. On the I, best peg, pal, wasn't he, apparently, Jay? Best peg of Barston. Yeah. He's on the peg I wanted to be on. Uh, yeah. I've Every time I go Barston, I won't go there. Yeah. I've, I've been winding <laughs> him up. <laughs> Every time I see him, I keep saying, <laughs> can't believe you. It's shocking. <laughs> he loves shocking when he's doing. I'm going to say he was on like. 104, 105. Uh, no, no, he wasn't. He wasn't on 100. He'll have been on like 98. <laughs> well, crap, proper rubbish. <laughs> I, I, love I love him. It. I kept winding him up all day. But anyway, <laughs> he's drawn there. His section where he drawn was a lot poorer than me. Right. Because his section was too. It was probably mid middle of his section. No, he probably wasn't. He probably had six people to his right. Right. In his section, and it gets better. And obviously, better up towards the island. Yeah. Flipping out, yeah. yeah. Definitely, it gets a little bit better as you go that way. So, he was really against it. My match, simple as I bought all this crap, didn't even use any of it. Did you? <laughs> didn't even set anything up. <laughs> what yeah. did you do the PVA bags? All of it. Did I you get them wet tie first chuck and they all no, melted. I didn't tie any because Dad told me in the shop. Yeah. So, I bought all these little sexy high oil pellets that cost me a flipping fortune. I bought all of these, and he said, don't make them early though, because the oil of your pellets goes into the PVA and they don't break down quick enough. Yeah, so my plan was, because I was going to fish such a simple match, if I drew, if I drew a good one, my match was literally going to be Spod and PVA. Oh really, you would have gone for it, yeah. So I was going to do nothing else, that's the only way they're catching, there's no slapping fish, there's nothing else. It, Jay. That was going to be my match. Right. But I was literally going to draw my peg and tie bags. Because it was nice and dry, I was going to sit there Would and you tie have bags. taken a chair as well, a carp chair and everything? No, no, I, I set stuff. it up properly, but <laughs> that was the plan to do that. Flipping it, So it's mate. all there, but I never fit. Everything's ready. Just I never made me bags up. He said make them last minute because it makes them break up better. Right. But anyway, that didn't actually materialise. So I've set up um, one method feeder to chuck at 60 metres and then two skimmer lines or two skimmer rigs. Just on a pole. 14 and a half metres to fish maggots and ground meat like we did when yeah, we yeah. fished the capital cart match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, when we bashed Jamie and Mark up. Yep. That match I wanted to fish. Stodgy right. ground bait, a few micros in, tapping every go. Um, Is there still the volume bites. of skimmers in there then, Jay? In there, so potentially feeding. What's in there? Whether they're feeding or not? No. Really, not really not feeding. Right. But anyway, start my match, load my effort out, fed me skimmer line, wanted to give it 20 minutes. Yeah. So I sort of have two 10 minute casts, 60 metres. Launched it out there. You don't even look at it, do you? You no. just sat there, sat there, sat there, and all of a sudden my rod's like. You look back and it's like that. It's, on, on, it's, it's, it's proper on. Did it's you, like going in. No, no, it's like. <laughs> it's like nearly on cliff. It's like. Clip. So yeah. Ten pounds after ten you minutes. Stand up and everything. Oh, like, proper like, like, don't, 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 don't. Yeah, no, not bothered. Like proper posed. I've got a carpenter. Yes. We're going to catch on. <laughs> oh, love it. All hundred percent down to luck. <laughs> but I've got one. Do you know what I mean? I'm the chubby bugger that's actually that stupid carp eating me. Yes. Because we're all in the same boat. No one's doing it fancy. We're all lucky. Yeah. That's all that happens on there. It, on that bit anyway. The way we were all fishing. So when it got lucky, got this one in. Probably like eight nine pounds. Oh right, lovely. Yeah, mega yeah. mega start. Had another chuck. Never had a bite come in, gone on my skimmer line. And again, we're not going to go into this a lot. I've spent four hours at that point. I tell you, no, I haven't. I have spent four hours fishing for skimmers, four and a half hours. But what I'd do, I'd have to go on it. I'd catch five, six. The decent ones, like 12 no, ounces? No, no. Oh, little bobby ones. 10 ounces was, yeah, 10, 12 ounce. No brown ones. All 10, 12 ounce. A lot of little perch, a lot of little roach. But I'd catch the skimmers, then I'd catch roach, then I'd catch perch, then I'd have to feed it. And when I fed it, I'd have a chuck. Right. I'd launch it five minutes, never had another bite No other it. signs, no Never other. caught another fish in it all day. Cranking it, back on my skimmers, another little run. But I couldn't make it, I couldn't be aggressive. I had to be dead delicate, just ticking over, getting these little odd runs. And the longer the day went, the harder it got. Like, really, really hard to get by. I had to go like a metre past my bait, so you down just, my you know peg, baits, just maggots, maggots just were, maggots. You couldn't, be, you couldn't be aggressive like you used to be with meat and corn and pellets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not there. Yeah, they're much smaller. I did catch probably two about a pound. Yeah. Random spell, just two and two chucks. But it was natural baits, get bites. And literally eked it out all day. Got proper close. Dale on the ends had a 10 pound cart with 10 minutes to go on his pole. So then, and he's fished the same match as me. He's fished quick chuck. I don't even know if Dale had a quick chuck, in fact. I think he's fished pole start to pole. finish. Right. But he's been a bit more aggressive than me. He's gone down the selective, a Pelletian, bit meaty, a bit corny, right. a bit pellety. 
and he's caught bigger fish but a lot less. Right. Because I played the numbers game, caught a lot of little ones. And yeah, that, that would the end. Literally eking it out for every pound. And I'm hearing at this point, Steve's potentially third. Oh, right, okay. Because it's so close in this section it. that Steve's playing it down a bit, but I'm hearing Steve could be third, and I'm thinking, well, it's on weight. It's all about weight then. And he's admitting to 75 pound. Right. And I'm thinking, well, if I've got 35, there's the four, there's the 20 kilo, it's going to be ridiculously oh, close. Like, I'm thinking... It's mad all these big events go, isn't it? Always like that. At some yeah. point, it always gets you excited, and you're like, so I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. this could go my way if I'm lucky enough. You know what I mean? So, all done, weighed in. Dale got his fish out and they've gone 33 pounds. I think I've got 27 to 30. I'm like, whoa. You know what I mean? I'm bricking it. Dale's weighed 33 and I'm thinking that could win that. But then really, really lucky. Put mine on the 37. That won me section. Oh nice, God, yeah. so there's 37, awesome. 33. I think there were 220s after that fish. Really, really hard. A lot of people, because the position a lot of people are in though, because it's UK champs. If they're not there in the running, yeah. sort of thing overall in the league, they will risk win. it. Yeah, come for a win for it. Because you get a grand, don't you, for a win the other day? Yeah, yeah. Grand check, yeah. yeah. Utterly impossible to win where we were, but people still think yeah. easy match, innit? Definitely. A lot less prop, a lot just... Yeah. So that plays into your hands if you're uh, yeah, like in the that. poorer section mm. sort of thing. Yeah. So got away with it. Yeah. Sadly, though, news come down that Steve won his section. Right. Mr. Ringer won his section. I'm going to be crap with weight. I'm going to say Steve's had 92. Right. I think Sam Williams next to him had 90. And Franny was up there as well. I don't think he had 90. I don't Franny think had, O'Reilly? Yeah, I think right, Franny yeah. might have had 80. Oh, right. Flipping I don't that. know. So it's close then. Steve won the section. I'll, I'll be a bit off with weights. I know. Well, I don't know. But he just won a section like one fish ahead. But either way, if even if he'd have been third with 90 pounds, he'd have beat me. On weight count back anyway? Yes, on weight count back. Because I've had 37. And you were leading by 30 kilo? 20 right. kilo. 20 kilo. Right, okay. So what's 20 kilo? 44 pound? Yeah. So it would have been. I needed Steve to weigh less than ah, 70. Right, yeah, yeah and be third so couldn't have got any closer he, he's paralyzed you know, he's had four wins which is impressive yeah you know what i mean job done didn't mess about rocked up got uk champs in the bag um luckily for me all the other results went in my favor as well i say power was beating me by a point he's had a really tricky one with where he was it's shocking yeah, yeah, yeah. compared to the others um tom calladine won his section i don't know where power was he's ended up with eight points what, what was it he was fourth was he fourth, was he? So what if you had six points? He might have ended up with seven points. Right. He was either third or fourth power. Right. So I managed to leapfrog him. Um, and Waco came out of nowhere as well. Waco had a, he had a poor first one, or unlucky first one, at Megan's. He was third. And then I think he won. No, he was third, second, first and first. Right. And he finished third in the league. Fair play to him. He won the match at Boston. Yeah, he, he was... He was pounds, didn't he? Yes. Yeah, he he, he was in, I think, I'm going to say he was on 16, 18, mm. around that area. Yeah. They're so good at that. Ridiculous talent. Him yeah. and Steve stand out yeah, a yeah. joke at that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's we've got no chance to compete with them lads. They're so good at that and so yeah. accurate and yeah. it's so normal to them doing that. Mm. And it that the fishing these big. We'd just be leaders. excited and like getting the gear for it, wouldn't we? And just having yeah. one day on it, we'd be like that excited, yeah. like oh yeah, we caught a fish. It never works, does it? When no. you commit to weird things and part of that, not a chance. You're shocking you've at it. Doing aren't it for, yeah, yeah. You've got to be doing it for ages. Yeah. Just but like anyway, me last week at Larford. <laughs> yeah, something like that. So, yeah. UK champs, took second, made up with that. That's amazing, Jay. I'll tell you amazing, that, I did want to win that. Mate, it's like, what an achievement, mm. though, you know what I mean? First and second in, like, two years. It was. It wasn't ridiculous. a bad week, was it? Awesome, so, mate. We'll take that. So, yeah, UK champs done. Do it all again next year. You're doing it again next year? Yes. Go on, Jay, lad. I think so.